<laughs> She's walking away because I don't have the treats. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> Wait a minute. I can't have the notes. I know. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my gracious. Here, let me come out and help you. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Live at Lunchtime. Yes, so happy to have you on this beautiful day. Why don't you come here? Well, Tyler is greeting you. I mean, that's how. That's who you all want to see, right? <laughs> Tyler and Janie here. But we're just going to move away from their behind. I say, I can take that bucket. I'll all fend right. them off with the bucket of treats. There you go. Here, <laughs> I might want to take a couple in my hand. All right, everyone. Well, welcome to our live at lunch. We're happy to see you again. I'm Michelle. I'm Alex. And there's Kristen behind the camera. And this is Janie here. This is sweet beautiful girl. Janie. And that is handsome Tyler. Tyler all <laughs> the way over there. That's right. Now, Tyler, the fun's over here. He's like, yeah, I'm not yeah, so sure I we'll want to be part of we'll this see. fun. <laughs> <laughs> Janie's very curious. She's mm -hmm. a very curious girl, aren't you, Janie? Yeah. So we are here to talk about an interesting topic. Yes. Um, it's some people know about it and some others don't. So it, it'll be very interesting. I'll admit, I did not know about this. If you are joining us and you received our email notification about what the topic is for today's live, it is what are hair whorls? W-H-O-R-L-S. That's right. W -H -O -R -L -S. That's so right. whorls. And I remember, Michelle, when you were telling me about this, I was like, what? Mm -hmm. What is this? <laughs> yeah. I find it very interesting. So uh, before we get started, let's just tell you, I want to tell you a little <laughs> bit about Tyler and Janie now. Oop. Actually, Alex, you want to go ahead? And, I was going to say, let me come over here with Janie. Because I know we've met Tyler before. So let's start with yes. Janie. <laughs> so Janie is a thoroughbred. She's unraced, so she never had a racing career. <laughs> and she has got a strong personality if you can't tell from the way she struts around <laughs> but she's very lovable she is and yes. she loves spending time out here with tyler her pasture mates she's an unregistered thoroughbred mm -hmm. and she was born in 2008 but she came here in 2020, so she's only been with us for a couple of years. And her and Tyler are besties. They are. They became fast friends. <laughs> you know what I think we'll do, Alex? Sorry, everyone. Before we get started with our whirls, I think we'll take the bucket of carrots and put them out there. We'll have to move it out a little bit. Because I think it's a little too distracting for, the, <laughs> for this one. <laughs> But many of you probably already know about Tyler, but for those who don't, Tyler, this beautiful gray here, he is a former military working horse. He came here also in 2020, I believe, early 2020 in January. And so he worked with the Quezon platoon. He helped escort the caskets of fallen military members to their final resting places in Arlington National Cemetery. Mm -hmm. And so he is retired here. So while our sanctuary is mostly full of rescued equine residents, we do have a couple of horses that are retired here. Mm -hmm. And that is one and of them. And he's one is of Tyler them. Tyler here, yes. That's right. Sergeant York would be the other mm -hmm. retired case on horse. Our other former military horse. That's right. Aren't you sweet? So they're living their best life and they're very sweet. Right? Very sweet. <laughs> Janie said, look, if you're not going to give me any more treats, I'm just going to some water. There. It's kind of starting to get kind of warm out here. The sun it coming is, out. It is. It is. So, yeah. So, let's get started with the whorls. So, a lot of people use whorls as kind of like an uh, identification for horses, um, which I thought was pretty interesting because I had to ask myself the question, do horses have an equivalent of a fingerprint. Mm -hmm. So and this would kind things. of be like their equivalent of what a fingerprint for us is. 
Um, they are used for a form of identification, like I said, and every horse has one somewhere on their body, usually on their face, but they can get them in other parts of their body, such as their ears, their neck, their wither area. I mean, pretty much anywhere. They can have some crazy whirls going on. <laughs> now, the funny part is, is not only are they used as like a fingerprint, however, they can also, some people say, and it's not a scientific fact, mm -hmm. but some people use these whirls and they say it has to do with their personality. Oh, like an indicator? Like an indicator of, oh. of what their personality is like. So I thought it might be interesting to make our live about these whirls and to see if we can find the whirls on Tyler and Janie. Mm -hmm. And then maybe care, like look at their personalities and see if any of this might be true. Yeah. So yeah. I see Hi, on honey. Tyler, you were mentioning often can be found on their faces. Mm -hmm. I believe so. This right here would be t one of Tyler's. Let's see. Right there. So this marking that you can often see on what would be like the forehead mm -hmm. of horses, you see the way that the hair, oh, <laughs> the dread back up, that the hair kind of gathers in the swirling way. Now, actually, this is kind of interesting. He actually has two whirls on his forehead. Say. Oh, wait, I just saw so it as you were he, mentioning. Actually, he has three. He has one here. He has one here and one here. So he's got three whirls, oh, and I'm wow. noticing that he also has two whirls on either side of it, the higher top of his, his neck here. So they can have multiple. They can have multiple whirls. So let's see. I'm going to look at my little notes here, and let's see what two whirls on the forehead means. What do you think? What do you think? Do you think they're accurate? Does it have anything to do with your personality? I don't know. Let's find out. So now a whirl, it's kind of like uh, on humans when we have calyx. That's kind of like what a whirl is. All right, so they're also called hair swirls, um, or their scientific name, if you want to be scientific about it, is a, I believe it's pronounced trichoglyph. trichoglyph. Ooh, interesting. Trichoglyph. Um, so let's see. They can also, like I said, just want to cover this real quick. They can have them on their mouth, cheek, ears, temples, throat latch, which is underneath their throat. Oh, okay. Uh, windpipe, chest. Their pole, which is the top of their head, their neck, their crest, their withers, their girth area, uh, belly, okay, flank, front legs. They can have on, on their fetlocks, which are down here. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Hind quarters. <laughs> and they can even have tail whirls. I don't know what tail whirls Oh, mean. interesting. Yeah. Um, so, and like I said, breed registries will use, use them as a form of identification. They can never be clipped or brushed out. They stay there forever. Just like you when you have a colic, there's nothing you can do about it. It's there. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We're gonna test the theory. So yeah. Tyler, uh, let's see. There are different types of whorls. Some are tufted where the hair converges and forms into a tuft, which is like a little bounce, I oh. guess, or a little volume. Just a little bit. Yeah. A little oomph. Uh, linear where the hair growing in opposite directions meets along a line. That's not Tyler. Crested, some is linear, but hair merges to form a crest. That's also not Tyler. Let's see, what else? Let's see. Feathered, where the hair meets along a line but falls at an angle is a feathered. I know who has a feathered whirl. Uh, Wyatt has a feathered whirl. And finally, sinuous, where two opposing lines Janie's getting into the bucket of carrots. <laughs> I would just put it she outside the fence. She got one. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, and let's see. So sinuous, where two opposing lines of hair growth meet along an irregular curving line. So I would say that Tyler has two linear hair whorls. Um, let's see. So it's said that if a horse has their whirl right in between their eyes, which is the most common place, it means the horse is uncomplicated in nature, obedient, and has a good disposition. So oh. let's see. Oh, that would be Tyler. Tyler's bottom whirl is right in between his eyes, right here. Well, he was a military worker. He was. So I feel like that kind of would check out for his demeanor. Definitely, and he's definitely, I would say he's obedient. Mm -hmm. Good disposition, right? <laughs> um, let's see, and let's see. Uh, horses with whorls below the eyes, which is not Tyler, but below the eyes, they're said to have above average intelligence. 
usually the ones to figure out how to unlatch a door. Have you seen those TikTok oh, videos no. of horses unlatching themselves? <laughs> yep, yep. They may have a, swir a whirl below their eyes. Oh, we're going to have to take a look at all of our equines here and mm -hmm. keep an eye on them. Oh, for sure. <laughs> so there's, it's said that horses with whirls on the left side of their face are said to be complicated but trustworthy. Oh, okay. I thought that was pretty interesting. Horses with whirls on the right side of their face are said to be uncooperative. Is that true? Huh? I don't know. Horses with one long hair whirl are said to be friendly and love people. And horses with two adjoining whirls are said to be emotional or difficult to handle. Now he does have two whirls, but they're not connected. So I wouldn't say that's Tyler. Three whirls on the forehead is rare and is said to indicate a wild or unpredictable horse. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Oh, I thought this was interesting. You know how some people, well, all people have a dominant hand usually. Mm -hmm. It's usually either you're right-handed or yeah. you're left-handed. You can be both. Now, for horses, they say if they have a left-handed counterclockwise swirl... <laughs> Uh, it's kind of like left and right. So sometimes you'll see horses and they, they do prefer one side or the other. So sometimes you'll see horses trot around and they like to trot with their inside left leg on the inside or sometimes they like to go the other way. They do prefer a side or sometimes they'll lean to one side. They'll have a preference. So they say that whatever their preference is, you can tell by their, their world. Just like us with our right hand and left hand. <laughs> Hi. All right, so... Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Dawn says this is fascinating. Yeah, it is, Ooh. isn't it? We thought it was pretty fascinating also. Sorry we're moving around so much. It's because it's Miss Janie. Janie wants all the carrots. You know what? I'm interested in seeing what her whirl means and yeah, if I... it tracks out. <laughs> Do you want me to take the bucket for a second? Yeah, let's see. <laughs> And I'll let you, I'll let you I've go through. I've just been kind of moving behind here while we focused on Tyler's world Hi, here. Honey. And I'll let you go through some of that. <laughs> Miss Janie, can I get a good look at you? Come yeah, here. I feel like I see hers kind of right here, just above in between her eyes. Ah, yep. And Kristen, hers let's are... see if we can get a close up. Now hers goes, come here, Bubby. What a good girl. It looks like in a clockwise. Like that? Or I think it's wrong? actually, oh. I think it's counterclockwise. Oh, I see how it swivels. Okay. Yep, so I think she might be, she might have a preference towards the left. And it is a, just a teeny bit higher, um, not above her eye line, but just a teeny bit higher than mid, right? So what does that mean for you, miss? <laughs> she doesn't know. She says, I don't know what that means. I don't know. I think if it, if I had to guess, I would say... <laughs> Are you have an itch? I would say it means curious. Are you curious? Oh, I'd say she's definitely curious. You're curious. And she's always feisty. like, what's going on? What curious do you have and there? Feisty and Can I eat it? Yeah. Sneezy, maybe? <laughs> Are you sneezy? Oh, she's going to eat my shoe. See, she's curious. She is very curious. She's very curious. Like, what is this? Don't what's going shoe. on? Don't eat my toes. <laughs> All right, can I keep going with this or are you going to behave yourself? I was like, I will be obedient. And I will. According to my world and I, I will just stay right here. <laughs> Hi. Aren't these guys cute to go? They're so cute. I love them. Get those flies. Soon these flies will be gone. Right? Thank goodness. No more bugs. Miss Janie, come here. I want to see if you have any more whirls. Come here. So... Alex, do you want to, since you have the notes, do you want yeah. to kind of go over um, where else they can, I know it mentions they can have mouth whirls and what they yeah. might mean. Yeah, and so we'll have to see if these guys have any, although we were taking a look at Tyler, it doesn't appear so, right? What does it mean about around the, the mouth? He has so, some right below his pole. So when it comes to whirls found around the mouth, additional whir whirls found there on the cheeks can add a little bit of complexity to your horse. So many horses with 
odd shaped mouth whorls will hold their mouth stiffly or stick out their tongues while riding. Hmm. Now that would be interesting if we had any lady? video of like when Tyler was working or something. Yeah, well let's see. So how, if, see. It, if, it, if his mouth ever did something like that. Yeah, I don't see any mouth whorls on Janie. Mm -hmm. And I don't see any mouth whorls, I don't think. Come here, Tyler. Come here. On Tyler. You know what, while we're talking, let's take a break from the whorls for a second. Whoop. Come here, guys. Let me, let me pop through. <laughs> let me pop through. Come here. <laughs> whoop, whoop. All right. Let's see if I can get them to do a trick. Do you guys want to see if Tyler can give us a smile? Can you do smile? Sometimes they will. Nope. He's like, what do you want me to do? A smile? No. Nope. Not going to smile. Nostrils flaring. Uh, almost. They're supposed to hold their lip up. That's okay. You did a good try. I saw a little bit of teeth there. Just it was a little. A good try. Let's see if Janie will Just do it. Just a little grin. Janie, you want to smile? Come here. Come here, Janie. Ready? Smile. Nope, not you, Tyler. Hold on, Tyler. Smile, Janie. Smile. Yay! <laughs> All right. So, what about? Do, I see that Tyler has two whorls right here behind his ears, right below his his pole. Mm -hmm. Does it have anything about pole whorls? Pole whorls? I'm looking, we have the temple area. Which would be here. Oh, so that would be right there. Mm -hmm. Listen, lady. <laughs> My goodness. My goodness. Hungry, hungry. Hold on. Hold on. All right, I'll get you some. I'll get you some. Oh my gracious, my gracious goodness. <laughs> well, before we continue, does anybody have any questions about these two very curious, curious <laughs> couple? Coming to me, seeing if I have anything. <laughs> so I don't know, whatever, whatever the, um, you know, I don't know, a lot of people will look at a horse and some of them will not purchase a horse, which I think is ridiculous, based on their whatever type of whirl they have. No matter what their whirl is, I truly believe that maybe it does have a little bit to do with personality, but every horse is wonderful and valuable and willing, um, <laughs> willing to be worked <laughs> with and uh, build a relationship with you. So I don't oh, believe yeah. that any horse is beyond reach just because of their world. It's not a steadfast and true indicator. I feel like it almost seems similar to maybe like your horoscope sign. Like very often the attributes um, of certain like horoscope signs are like, yeah, that rings true. And sometimes I look at them I'm like, oh, I don't know if that really is right. me. You know, they're not always 100%. So get to know a horse. Absolutely. Beyond its world. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So if you have a horse, maybe, <laughs> at home, <laughs> that has temple whorls, mm -hmm. which is here, right? Kind of right above their temple. eyes. Yep. Um, it, they said it's supposed to heighten. Excuse you. <laughs> it's supposed to heighten their thinking <laughs> on the side of the world. Hmm, which is interesting because you know how we're left brain and right brained? Mm. Horses are also. So they could also mm -hmm. prefer one side Hi. of the brain. <laughs> and the horse will be a fast thinker and a great puzzle solver, for Ooh. better or for worse. <laughs> <laughs> These horses may overthink a problem or may figure things out and just take the rider with them and finish the puzzle with a flash and pizzazz. So I have known plenty of horses like that for sure. But like I said, my personal opinion is no matter what world they have, they're all valuable and amazing and wonderful and unique, right? <laughs> it is so interesting though, because now I want to walk around the sanctuary and just look at all of our equines mm -hmm. here, all of our horses and like 
okay, where is it? What shape is it going in? Exactly. Take all of our notes. And maybe you can too, if you're watching and you're in the area, we have our next public open day this Saturday. So if you want to come yeah. to our sanctuary and maybe check out some of the whorls, see if you can find them on some of our horses. Yeah, test out the theory. Yeah. Maybe they're what very- What do you see about our horses? Yeah, maybe they're very inquisitive like Janie here, or maybe they're very- Calm and with a calm disposition, like Mr. Tyler here. Right? Opposites attract in this. They pastor. do. <laughs> they definitely do. Right, Janie? Yeah. You're a good girl. See, I was just so curious. That's all. I just need to know what's going on. She's and so she likes. I noticed the. Oh, and, <laughs> and hi. Where's Where that obedience there? <laughs> He's like, I'm being obedient. I'm just, you know, taking the bucket. <laughs> hi, guys. You're so cute. Ooh. We still got the flies. It's almost <laughs> fall. We're hoping these flies go away sometime soon. Now, here, yeah, I know. I hope so. <laughs> I want to mention one more thing. So, like I said, I think there are more uh, facts and evidence out there that saying that worlds has something to do with their personalities. Mm -hmm. But as far as fingerprints go, some people say that this here on the inside, a lot of people ask me what this is right here. And Alex, you know this. Remember? Oh, the chestnut. The chestnut. Oh, the chestnut. These are called chestnuts. It's just, um, t it's just hardened tissue, like what we have on our nails. It doesn't hurt them. They all have them. Now, some people say that each of these is like a fingerprint, also. However, there's more evidence pointing to the whorls, and that's as what, opposed to that. As opposed to these, yes. But some people, some horses will have longer. Some will have shorter. They all have different shapes, different sizes. Some of them have to be trimmed down because they actually grow out. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting also. What do you think, buddy? Well, Tyler's like, this is not my best side. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoyed our, our more fun session today about <laughs> horse worlds. And like we said, please come to the sanctuary. We have an open day coming up, only three left. So come around, take a look at the whorls and mm -hmm. see what you think. Yeah, you'll have to point them out again if you're kind of looking in this area, see how they spin. Now let's see, what direction did his spin? Let's see, can I see? Can you see, Alex? Let's see. I got it wrong on Janie, but I feel like it's turning clockwise. Yeah. Well, his are, his are linear, so they're right oh, on they're a linear, line. so they're, oh, yeah, okay. So he's kind of, there's just a little bit of feel, like a little tiny yeah. bit of a But up here on a turn. Up here, they are definitely going counterclockwise. Oh, okay. So maybe he leans to the left also, which, you know, I don't know. They're both, both lefties. They're both lefties. <laughs> Mom thought they were great models. They are they great They are. Models. <laughs> <laughs> they're funny. I love these two. Oh, my gosh. They are so cute together. <laughs> Yep, yep. Janie's our beautiful chestnut mare and Tyler our handsome gray. And so with our open day this Saturday, usually we our gates open at 11, but this Saturday is actually the Chatham area farm tour. So there are a ton of participating farms all around Columbia County. So our gates will open an hour earlier at 10. So if you've never come before, you have an extra hour to come check us out. Also some other farms around. We have information on our website and our social media of all the other farms you can go to and check out along with us and come see our horses for an extra hour so that's 10 to 4 this mm -hmm. Saturday, the 24th. Yeah, we hope to see you there. Yeah. Thanks for joining. Thank and what, you. We hope you learned something. Absolutely. I know I did. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, you know, before we say goodbye, I just want to give everybody one last chance. If you have any questions you want to mm -hmm. ask us, even if it's not about anything you learned today or about these two, feel free to ask. We're here. If not, we wish you a great day. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thanks so much, everyone.